now I passed the man and looked into the side mirror to see his back. But still, he was looking at me straight. So he's either following you with his gaze or supernatural stuff at work. Around where I live, we don't have a whole lot of walking traffic. Like, don't get me wrong, people walk around from place to place, but most places aren't really accessible for walking distance, at least not reasonable walking distance. If you live in a downtown area or a big city, it's likely that you can get almost anything you need by walking a few blocks, maybe even a mile or two at most. Over here, <laughs> to get pretty much anywhere, you have to walk a couple miles. I live very, very close to a couple of grocery stores around where I'm at. And when I say close to, I mean it takes a few minutes to drive there. If you were to walk there, you're probably talking about a half hour to get there, maybe 20 minutes if you walk at a pretty brisk pace. But the weather is not really inviting for stuff like that because it's hot like 10 or 11 months out of the year here in South Louisiana. and. Uh, the, the traffic on the highways move pretty fast. Like, it's just not real well-equipped for walking like big cities are. And I gotta tell you, most people that you do see walking, not only do they stick out, but they're usually going somewhere. Now, it's the people that aren't by any landmarks that are just kind of standing around and paying attention to traffic. You kind of wonder, like, what are they doing? <laughs> if they're not in uniform or, or work and stuff like that. I have a particularly interesting and creepy story that I want to tell y'all after the video that we're going to react to today, which is by Wanzi Entertainment. And it's called The Man on the Road. So I thought that was a little obscure, but I have something to maybe match it. We're going to get into it in, the, in this video, guys. Make sure to check out Wanzi Entertainment. Click the subscribe button. Click the notification bell there. And if you like reaction videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel as well. Let's get into the reaction. The Man on the Road. It's gonna have to be creepy. It's There's a road that I always drive through for work day after day. Right. Although it was a quiet place, I didn't pay much attention to it, as it has always a few cars on the road. Right. However, something started to bother me at some point. There was a man standing on the same side of the road almost every day with no expression. Huh. Late at night or early daybreak, it hasn't been long since I noticed he was always in the same place in all weather. Now, that's weird. <laughs> At night, too? Never moving, no expression, just there? You have to wonder if a cop has stopped him before, or stopped on the side of the road and asked him what was going on. Not that it's any of a cop's business if he's not, <laughs> if he's not causing any harm, but it's noteworthy, right? If the same guy is standing at the same place, rain or shine, night or day, on a back road in the middle of nowhere just doing nothing it's got to make you wonder after a little while he's got every right to be curious so one day i talked to my colleague about the man and he suddenly said he seemed like a very famous man around that place but you know what no matter where you see him you will always see his face from the front no one has literally seen his back or even his side moreover there are, strangely, many accidents on that road. So everyone says that's a curse from that dude. Wait, what? And now, everyone just passes him on the road and ignores him. I suddenly became curious about him. That's... <laughs> that's really weird, too. So everybody sees this guy from the front, never sees him in the back. Uh... <laughs> and there's a legend about him. You know... Does curiosity take control here, or do you just, like, heed the, the warnings? You know, urban legends are usually just silly stuff, you know what I mean? But that old saying, if you don't play with fire, you won't get burned, things like this is just weird. What if this dude is off his rocker? What if he's a crazy person? What if the urban legend is just something like the old lady next door that nobody would want to, you know, trick or treat at her house or, or, or jump the fence for a lost ball? You know, sometimes, most of these things never, never come to pass. There's nothing real sinister at work here. But every once in a while, you hear about something crazy from these people. This might be one of those accounts. I wouldn't be the guy. <laughs> There's no way. That day on my way back home from work, I was driving on the road where the man stood. You gonna stop? And the man was standing there as usual and looking straight at me. Of course. As I was passing the side of him, I turned my head to see him sideways. 
but he was already staring at me straight in his face. Facing. Now I passed the man and looked into the side mirror to see his back, but still he was looking at me straight. So he's either following you with his gaze everywhere that you go, like just standing watching you, or there's some sort of illusion or 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 supernatural stuff at work. I, <laughs> he looks a little bit concerned, this guy, now. It made me feel creepy enough. Mm hmm After I arrived at home, another curiosity sprang up. All right. So he kept staring at me, but I couldn't really see him moving. He definitely moved when I just took my eyes off for a right. moment. Then what happens if I keep staring at the man without taking my eyes off of him? You have to do that the next with day somebody I headed in your to car the same driving. place. It was time to put the way I thought yesterday into practice. He's going to wreck. And he surely stood in the same places, He's staring straight at me. Wreck. I began to keep my eyes on him from the moment I first saw him and watched him until the moment I passed by. No, you're going to hit course, some. When I didn't take my eyes off him, he didn't look back at me either. Okay. The side of the mystery man began to be seen little by little. All right. And I noticed that it was no different from the other ordinary person. Right. But I felt excited like a child who had just discovered the hidden treasure. <laughs> Besides, it would be perfect if I see his backside last. I had already turned my head 180 uh, degrees uh, and looked back dangerously before I knew it. Of course. I couldn't see the back well, so I was trying to turn back, putting my hands <laughs> off the steering wheel. <laughs> what are you doing? Now the back of him was finally seen by my eyes. Oh, my God, dude. Being satisfied, I was about to exclaim. Look how creepy. Moment, Head on collision. Then I suddenly lost my mind. I don't think the guy on the side of the road was nearly as creepy as the guy's face. The <laughs> what? Is that exaggerated excitement or was that just like freaking? <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's I don't know what to make of that, dude. When I woke up again, I was lying in the hospital, and fortunately, I was not seriously hurt. Though. You lucky. What a stupid. Why did I do that? You could have hurt Was somebody I else too. by something? While thinking about those things, a man in a police uniform knocked on the door of the room and came inside. All right. Hi. I came here to hear what happened to you yesterday. Yeah. So I frankly confessed that I had acted rashly to see the back of the man standing on the road and admitted that the accident had happened. I told him that I don't know why I suddenly thought so. Just then, the cop who was listening to me without saying anything said to me, and that one sentence that he had told me still remained in my head long after the incident. Since that day, I've been avoiding the road wherever I go to work or come back home. What the heck? Shoot, that dude didn't take you this time. Wait, what? There was two people dead at that accident. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get I'm confused. I'm so confused. This this is really really creepy though. Like you don't you don't mess with curses and stuff like that. Okay, so to my story that I was trying to tell y'all about before the video. My wife and I and my daughter are traveling down the interstate on the way to a friend's house in Mississippi. Okay, this is about a state away, very, very long drive, and we're on some roads that we aren't familiar with. Not that it's back roads or anything, it's like the interstate, you know, it's a four lane major highway with a median in between so that you don't have to cross. There's exit ramps and stuff. It's it's a pretty wide open space. So we're we're going down the road and we see a guy with crutches that is standing on the shoulder of the road, dangerously close to the lane, and looks as though he's trying to cross. Now, this is the weirdest thing because there's no vehicles around him or anything, and the guy has crutches, and automatically in your head, you're thinking to yourself, you know, a guy with crutches that's trying to cross the interstate with high traffic like this, this is dangerous. This is super dangerous for this guy. He's already in crutches like he could be hurt badly or killed if he got struck and a lot of times people are paying attention to the radio or what they're eating or their cell phones or something else and it's very 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 dangerous up there so 
I think my, my wife was driving at the time and she started to slow down because this just looked a little odd. And right before, we didn't switch lanes or anything, but right before we get to the guy, he actually gazes at us and steps into the lane, like takes a couple of lunging steps, like to try to get in the way of the truck to get hit. Tracy slams on the brakes to the truck and we must have been, y'all, we must have been four foot from this guy when we made the total stop. He's still standing there with the crutches, staring at us through the windshield saying, please kill me, please kill me. With like this look in his eyes, like he was begging for death. Look, my hair is standing on end, guys. I. It still creeps me out to this day when I think about it. Naturally, we called the police. We left the scene immediately, all right? We, we just darted around him. I remember telling my wife, go, 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 just go around him. So she just swerved to the left and went around him. And he was literally tapping the hood of the truck when we were moving by. I, know, I don't know what happened to the guy. We ended up leaving him and we called the cops. We told them what had happened, where it was. We called 911 on the way. We got to our friend's house. We told them what happened. My daughter and my wife and I were all shook. My daughter had never seen anything like that before in her life. She's never been exposed to weird people in big cities or anything like that before. And she was really, really, really shook, man. I'm still kind of freaked out to this day thinking about it. But at any rate, that's one of the craziest things that ever happened to me. But the story kind of reminded me of the story. The, the animation was a little bit crazy, like I didn't get it. Maybe you guys can leave me some info in the comments and let me know what you thought about it. At any rate, I, I hope you all enjoyed it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check Wansy Entertainment out right here and a couple other videos that I reacted to from him here. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time. Break it down.